Well, welcome back. A very warm welcome back to the Paul Dolan Details channel and welcome to all the new subscribers that have subscribed over the last few weeks. Yeah, thanks to the filthy, dirty Fiesta video, I have now been put into YouTube limelight and thank God, it's only taken me two years. Thanks to everyone who's viewed uh, the video and thanks to all the people from overseas which are now viewing me, thank you. Uh, right, this week's video, uh, we've got a new tool. Ooh, uh, at the back here, we've got Henry Wash. Now, you've seen the pneumatic hoover. I've used this hoover for quite some time now. I swear blind by it. It's a very, very good machine, but it's not capable of sucking up water. There is, however, several machines that uh, pneumatic make. They make a, a wet and dry vac. They do a green version, which has got like a, a chamber in it with the fluid in it. You take it out, and then you can convert it back to a dry, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, there's a dry machine, and there is also this one, and there's also some bigger machines for the more pros out there. This is Henry Wash. Uh, the idea is, as a reservoir in it, where you put your cleaning detergent. Uh, this is WAC products from Palm Automotive. Thanks to Sarah. This is a carpet bright and fresh. I'm going to be using that today. Obviously, dilute it down. Um, that goes in the tank with water. Fill it up, and then as you move the wand around the vehicle, i.e., on your seats or carpets, you pull the trigger spraying fluid out and it sucks up through this wand that's the idea uh, many many years ago i used to be a carpet cleaner uh, several blooming jobs the list is endless but i did do quite a bit of this and they are fantastic bits of kit the main problem is is you need to get all that water out of the material you don't want a car sitting there with damp seats damp carpet and that's where these machines come into their own because the powerful motors they have they suck out the dirt and the cleaning fluid pulling all the residue with it and you don't want those seats to be damp um, i'm not I've had a look at the car, the car's not that bad. Unfortunately, I was supposed to be doing a Fiat 500 today and they've let me down right at the last minute. It's not their problem. Uh, it would have been a great video because it's filthy, but we're gonna do it on the BMW. Now, I'm gonna test it on the carpets. Um, I don't really wanna do the seats. Says he's standing in a t-shirt saying it's winter. Yes, I know, it's quite mild for our winters. It's November. Um, if it was a warm summer's day, we might attack the seats. The seats aren't that bad, to be honest with you. But what I will say to you is try and get as much water out of the carpet as possible. Because if you leave and you dampness in the car, you then get mould, mildew, and it's not very nice. And then the car starts to smell funky again. So little caution there. So that's the idea of this. Cleaning fluid, water in that, suck out. Very, very basic. Uh, I didn't just get this for cars, obviously. Keep her indoors happy. Um, we've got, um, let's just put this over here before I break it. This attachment is quite handy. If you have a tiled floor, a vinyl floor, you want to do your house, this. If you have dogs and have accidents, if you accidentally spill some beer, that's never happened in your house. It will never happen, I can assure you. Might spill milk or tea, but not beer. And then you have that. That's the wand attachment for carpets. All attaches to a pipe, which is down here, which is falling over. And then you connect the pipe up. It's quite simple, very, very basic idea. So we're gonna fill up this machine with water. You can use warm water if you want. It sort of helps aids the cleaning process. I'm not gonna to worry too much about that today. This is purely and simply to demonstrate how the machine works. And then we're gonna talk about prices and where you can get it from at the end. So uh, let's toss these to one side. I'll probably be doing that later on, just to keep the lovely wife happy. Let's get this BMW's carpet cleaned. So here we have it. This is the Henry wash machine. Now, very, very basic. Your button on the left here. This is for the fluid and this is for the sucky part who uh, misses. Take the top off with the two levers and this will enable you to fill this up with fluid and also empty the waste tank. It's all very basic stuff. This has got a seal on it. It's got a ball in there, like an axle, a float valve, if you like, with a filter. That's where the fluid gets sucked out from, your cleaning solution. Uh, for those of you who are interested, this is a five litre cleaning solution tank. Uh, the actual machine uh, takes nine litres of capacity. So make sure that is seated back in. Reseat the top. And then click the top back in, guiding the tube as you go. All very, very easy stuff. Now, before you start, you want to test this out. So just pull the trigger to see if you've got any solution coming out. Just about see it. There you go. Yep. And off you go. 
Now, a tip I'm going to give you guys out there if it is very, very grubby, pre spray your carpets either by using the trigger mechanism on the machine or using a trigger spray, or a pump sprayer, or a small one litre double action trigger spray. Whatever you want to use, use citrus or use a suitable APC. Don't use traffic clean or anything really strong. And this is it really in action. Now, there's some grubby marks down there. They look like greasy marks. That's an APC in the bottle. That's Auto Glances Infinite. Agitate it with a suitable carpet brush. Don't worry about the foam. That's all going to get sucked up. That's the beauty of this, these machines. Now you can pull the trigger again to add more solution. This will then dye the, the, the foam down and then suck it up. Or you can just do it without pulling the trigger. Guide it as you see fit. If it's bad, spray it and suck it. I not go around saying that in a pub. Classic action cam shot. Notice that rather nasty stain on the floor. Yeah, came across a few of these. This wasn't a proper job. This is just showing you how the machine works. This is on my son's car. Ideally, if you're doing this on a customer's car, if you could, you could take the seats out. Um, obviously, before all this, I did vacuum the car. One thing I will mention, should have mentioned that right at the beginning. So once again, a bit of spot cleaning here. Add the tape with a brush and then go over with the machine. If it takes several attempts, so be it. One thing I did find with this machine, um, I do talk about it at the end of the video, is the fact it is quite awkward with the way it's been set up with the cranked handle. Have a look here, look. You physically can't get in there to get the angle to make, make it seat properly, to get the pull to make it suck the water out. That's a particular bad bit of design. There may be a way around it with a 32 mil insert. Um, you can get those uh, for your hose attachments. I've got a couple of those. It just means undoing the clamp. Um, I might try that. So when it comes to floor mats, I thought I'd give this a go because these are particularly grubby. This is out of the Skoda, by the way. Pre-sprayed with uh, a bit of APC. Because that saves the fluid in the tank as well. Agitate. Not this quick, obviously. It's because of my amazing editing skills. And then the same thing. Pull the dirt. The dirt and the crap out. That seems to leave the material fairly dry. It's got a fairly powerful motor. Uh, 1060 watts, I believe. Apart from those few bits of foam there, I was very impressed. Now when it comes down to the last bit, strip the machine down, you'll see the state of this water. I was quite surprised, bearing in mind those carpets didn't exactly look grubby. And the good thing is, this machine's built in the UK. Hooray, we've built something that's bloody good. Yeah, not nice. Have a look at this. That is just from the front footwells and my car mat. Lovely. And that is it guys, that is the review. Do you want to see what happened right at the end? That's the finished results. Not bad, not bad at all. Interesting, uh, as you saw by the rather disgusting water that just came out from that brief section of car I did on the BMW and of course one of my Skoda mats. Now, uh, obviously the BMW wasn't a particularly brilliant test. 
I can only apologize for that. Obviously I did have a really filthy car booked in, but you can see how this machine works. Now there are some pros and cons. Let's just go through the pros. The pros are it's uh, fairly quiet. You uh, don't need ear defenders wherever they've gone, which are sat around here somewhere, which I thought I was gonna have to use, which is what I used to use on, with my old VATS because it sounds like a frigging jet engine. Awful machine, leaked everywhere, hence the new machine. Um, it's quite easy to use. There is, uh, you know, the arguments, the fact that I use the spot sprayer. I used an APC while I was doing it to get rid of some grubby stains. Before you do any of this, you can actually pre-spray the carpets. It's a well-known technique. If you pre-spray something, the APC or citrus, whatever you're using, starts to break down the dirt. Then you come along with your machine, give it another hit with the carpet solution, and then pull the whole lot up in one hit. Try and experiment with it, see what's best for you. Obviously, the worse the carpet, then you've got, the worst is you've got to agitate it, as you saw me doing on some of those stains. One of them's still a little bit still there, but the majority of the stains came out because that machine pulled all the crap with it. It's very, very simple how these uh, are used. Capillary re uh, reaction, or capillary traction, I suppose, or retraction. Try and sign out after a few uh, shepherd names on a Friday night. Anyway, Overall, the machine is a very, very good machine. It's very, very capable, but there is an issue. Now, um, there might be a way around this because you do have the uh, reducer sections that fit in these, but how this is actually set up, it's got this angle, and I found, obviously, as you saw by the video, getting near the tight areas around the gearbox tunnel and near the back of the uh, pedal, should I say, very, very difficult and awkward because it can only get in a certain angle. You may be able to take this apart, undo this, and then put a reducer in here. Don't really wanna fiddle with it as it's a brand new machine. If you've got any ideas, if you've got a machine like this and you can get over this, please put your comments in underneath the video. Um, one of the things I've noticed on YouTube is I get a massive following with the, the comments section. It's really good and some really good tips, especially on the last video. Absolutely fantastic. Both last two videos, should I say, um, but, if you have any ideas on this, then please let me know. Um, oh, there we go, spraying stuff everywhere. So overall, a very, very capable machine. I'd like to see it on the seats in future. I know a lot of you are gonna say, why don't you do the seats? Obviously, you need a very fairly warm day or you need to be in a premises where you can heat the car up or a heated garage to dry them out. Yes, it does dry very, very well, but just for the sake of this sort of um, demonstration, we just did the, the carpets and then my mat. Uh, just to see what the machine was like, and fairly impressed by it. Now, uh, price-wise, £159 from AO.com. I think Argos have got an offer on at the moment. If you, you can look at eBay, but I found them quite expensive. They were going way over £200 for these machines. Uh, it, I would steer clear of the second-hand market as well, to be fair, unless you can find something that's got one that's refurbished and you, it's got a decent warranty with it. So I will put the links under the video. As for the chemicals used, um, APC Infinite, Auto Glance, Auto Glance is Infinite, um, all-purpose cleaner, uses a spot cleaner, very, very good stuff. Use this for a long, long time. I'll put a link in under the video where you can get that from. And also the carpet bright and fresh. Now, cleaning power was pretty good. Obviously, I had to agitate it with a brush where the stains were and add the APC. Did I really need to do it? Mm, I could have just squirted a bit more from the trigger. It's up to you. It's just belt and braces to try and get the job done and just to show you certain techniques. Very, very affordable stuff, this. Eight pound, I believe, for five litres plus postage. Obviously, you're going to pay a little bit more postage, but... It's, you know, eight quid for five litres. You can't really grumble, can you? I'll put a link in for that as well. Uh, loads and loads of videos coming up, including some more brand stuff with this stuff, detailed online, sent down a big package of uh, products to test out. I'm trying to balance the videos out so you get kind of like a demonstration and then brand reviews, new brands, brands you've never heard of, and um, just mix the videos up. So obviously, if you love the video, please interact, get your thumbs up. Keep subscribing for more videos. And we will see you on the next one. A time for a cup of tea, I think. Tell you bye.